Okay, good morning, welcome to Fair uh, Today we're going to talk about the Collette's conjecture and an extension of the uh, that uh, a mathematician named John Conway did. Have you ever heard of John Conway before? No. no. He's one of the most famous um, American mathematicians. Um, do you remember uh, a long time ago we used to play that uh, game called Game of Life, where the yeah. little pixels went across the screen yeah. and they made fun little shapes. Yeah. He, he invented that. That's yeah. one of the things he's most famous for, although outside of math that's what he's most famous for. Inside of math he's done a lot of amazing things. But I just read an article by him about what some, some neat th thoughts he had on the Collette's conjecture. Do you remember the Collette's conjecture? Yeah. How does it work? Well, it states that if you pick any, if you choose any number. Okay, n, an integer. And if n is odd, you multiply it by 3 and Add one. If odd, three n plus one. Okay. And if it's e, and if it's even, you divide by two. If even, okay, n over two. So if it's, we're going to take a number. If it's odd, multiply by three n plus one. If it's even, divide by two. And then do the same thing with the result. Do you remember that? Yeah. Okay. And then keep doing the same thing until you get one. Until you get one. And. And what's the conjecture? Every, you every, always get yeah, one. You always get one for every number. For no matter what integer you start with, I guess a positive integer probably, um, you're always going to get to one. Mm -hmm. And let's do an example. Pick a number. Let's do 15. Okay, good example. So we start at 15. It's odd. So, so we have to do 3 times 15, which is 45. Plus one, 46. Okay, let your brother do this one. 46, what do I do? 46, you divide by 2, 20, 23. Then, then you have to multiply by 3, which 69 plus 1 is 70. Okay. 70, then you have to divide by 2, which is 35. 35. Multiply by 3 and add 1, so... 35 times 3 is 105, plus 1 is 106. Hmm. Okay. Looks like this one goes on for a while. Yeah, what's 106 divided by 2? It's 53. That's 53 times 3? It's, that, that's 100, 159 plus 1 is 160. Okay, 160 divided by 2? It's 80. Then 80 divided by 2? 40. 40 divided by 2? 20. 20 divided by 2? 10. 10 divided by 2? 5. I'm going to get to 16. 16, then 8, then 4, then 2, then 1. So it did equal 1. So it did go to 1. Well, we didn't disprove it, but <coughs> sometimes it does take a long time. Yeah. But for any number anyone's ever checked, on a computer even, this always goes to one. And nobody knows why. And and the article, isn't that amazing actually? Yeah. All you're doing is multiplying by three and add one on one hand, and then on the other hand you're dividing by two. It's even. That's it. Yeah. Could it be simpler than that? Mm, not really. Not really. But as simple as it'll get. But nobody knows. Nobody knows. What? Well, What's going on? Here? Uh, if you get, I see something. If you get to the powers of two, you divide by two all the way down to one. So if it's the powers of two, then you ought, you it's just a shortcut to one. Very good, very good, very good, very good thing to notice. If you get to the powers of two, that just becomes a shortcut to one. So um, maybe that'll help solve it. Um, Okay, so you're ready to, to see the extension, which is pretty cool, because people don't know how to solve this. Even right now, today, this is unsolved. Nobody knows. If you solve this, you'd uh, be really famous. <laughs> All right, you ready to go on to the extension? Yeah. yeah.